and I realized that, uh, you know, uh, particularly in a, in, a, in, a, in a tough economic time, that, uh, you know, any deduction from compensation is an important deduction. Uh, but the value that is uh, derived from that deduction, I think, uh, you know, speaks for itself in the availability of high quality health care that uh, will now be readily available in the Turks and Caicos Islands as the Interhealth Canada facilities open in, in April. Um, so it, it, you know, there's, there's probably never a great time to do this, but the time is right for the Turks and Caicos to do it now uh, because of the construction and the completion of the facilities. We just have to move forward. That was Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Insurance Plan, Brian Hogan, during a candid interview with News 4 earlier last week. Hogan noted that despite continuous opposition from residents concerning the NHIP, administrators were not backing out of launching the social program. November 1st marked a date by which contributions for the National Health Insurance Plan began. Two online petitions surfaced in mid-October in protest of the plan, which seeks to collect 2.5 percent from employees and an equal amount of 2.5 monthly payments from employers for health care. This is what Dr. Rufus Ewing, director of the NHIP, said in relation to benefit under the plan. Well, for, first and foremost, we know that uh, pre all pre-existing conditions um, uh, will be uh, included. I mean, persons who have pre-existing conditions will be accepted by NHIP. There will be no exclusions for pre-existing conditions. So if you're diabetic, if you're hypertensive, if you have previous heart disease, previous kidney disease, um, you, you will be accepted by the plan and paid for by the plan um, without any uh, maximum benefit in terms of in terms of years you are you are basically as long as you pay you are, you are you paid for life